to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my October empties. I don't have a lot and the reason being for that is I was just unwell pretty much all of October and I did not wear much makeup. I didn't wear much skincare. What I pretty much did was the basic I could possibly do just because I just did not have the energy to do anything else. But I still have some things to talk through. The way that I do my empties is I categorise them into makeup, skincare, body care and hair care. And I do have something from every category. Not a huge amount, but I do, I do have every, something from every category. If you've never seen an empties video before, this is where people save up the products that they finished to talk about on camera, to give you their opinions on the product and what they thought to it. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, the first thing I'm going to start with is makeup. I feel like I had a pretty good month at finishing makeup. I'm really happy with the makeup products I've finished this month. So, the first thing I want to show you is my sponge. Um, I never know what category to put this in, so I always just put it into makeup because I use this for makeup. But this is my So Eco sponge. I mean, it's very dirty. Um, this is my favourite sponge. I absolutely love it. It's so soft. I have continued to keep buying these. I'm using a different one at the moment. I've got a couple of different ones in my collection that I would like to try and get used before I repurchase the before I repurchase another one of these. But I'm definitely going to be repurchasing them. They're really not that expensive. I think they're around the same price as the Real Techniques one. Um, I haven't tried a Real Techniques one in a long time. Um, just because I, I fell in love with this. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting that again. So the next thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Pep and Hydrate Balm. I had this one in my 22 in 2022. I didn't go digging in there because I wasn't a massive fan of this product. It was okay. It didn't cause any irritation on my skin or anything like that. And it did smooth the skin, but I just... It wouldn't be a primer that I would go out and repurchase. However, when I looked on the e.l.f. website at the reviews for this, everybody loved it. So I would say if you were interested in trying it, I would just try it because everyone else seemed to have loved it. But for me, it just wouldn't be something I would get again. The next thing is the Ben Reynolds Bare Pro Lipstick in Petal. I have some face masks in here and it seems to have leaked all over the lipstick. I think this was also in my 22 in 2022. What it looks like. This is a beautiful lipstick. I absolutely love the colour of this. I love the formula of this as well. It was really comfortable on the lips. I did have to reapply it, but I find with any bullet lipstick, you do have to reapply it anyway. But it was such a beautiful colour. <sighs> I have so many lip products in my collection that I most probably have at least five, most probably a lot more, that are the exact same colour as this. So I really don't need it at the moment. And I say at the moment, I actually won't ever need it because I have so many lip products. I have enough lip products, I think that will last me forever. But I did really enjoy that. And the last makeup product for my October empties is the e.l.f. powder. The packaging broke on it. I mean, it's not the best quality packaging, but you do only pay, I think, below £5 for this. So you, you can't really expect a huge amount. But there is the nice shiny pan. This was okay. Like I said, for the cost, I think it did an okay job. It won't be something I would get again. I think I bought this when I did like a full face of e.l.f. makeup. And I think they've come out with a lot more powders since then. If you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend this because it's not awful. I just have other powders in my collection that I do prefer. Okay, so now let's move on to skincare. I do have a few face masks. The first one is the Vitamask Pearl Sheet Mask. I really, really enjoyed this one. I'm not, I'm gonna flip it, go, flip it upside down, but I'm hoping it's not gonna go everywhere because this one had quite a lot of serum in it. I did really enjoy this one. I thought it was really, really hydrating. I've tried quite a few things from Vita Masks. I've not loved every mask I've tried from them, but I did really enjoy this one. The next mask was from Technic, I think that's how you say it. This was the Primer Turn Up Sheet Mask. This was awful. Awful, awful, awful. It had so much product on it. There would be never, in a million years would I put that much primer on my face. I just wasn't a massive fan of this at all. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't get it again. The next one is from Rodile. This is the Pink Diamond Lifting Face Mask. This one was okay as well. 
I wouldn't buy it again though because Rodal is an expensive brand and I don't think I would just I don't think I would spend that much on a face mask that's a single use mask so it was nice to use but it, I wouldn't get it again the next one is from Soap and Glory this is a speed plump hydrogel sheet mask I did enjoy this one this one was quite heavy though I did find but it did hydrate my skin well like I said it was heavy and it did come in two pieces I do like getting these Soap and Glory masks I have in previous years got them from my parents as a gift and I do really really enjoy them I don't love all of them again I do I did like this one and then the last one I have is the Superdrug purifying pink clay mask this was okay I wouldn't get this one again but these are really affordable as well I think they're about 99p in Superdrugs but I wouldn't get this one again now let's talk about a couple of like samples so the first one I have is the Sol de Janeiro Bondia Bright Cream. I love, love, love the scent of this. I love Sol de Janeiro's scents. They are just incredible. I just don't like the formula. I'm, it's just not... I think Jalon said this and I have to agree. It's just not hydrating enough. And for me as well, it takes so long to absorb into the skin. I just... I don't love it. I love, love, love the smell. This one was incredible as well. I, I don't love the smell of the bluey green one but the this one and the original absolutely love the scent of them but i i wouldn't go out and get this again i then have the marlin and goats advanced renewal moisturizer this is okay but it won't be something i would get again something i do like and something i have a full size in is the clinique moisture surge moisturizer i really really enjoy this this is super moisturizing i only managed to get one use out of both of these though which was a shame but yeah i already have a full size already like it and then I have this one I can never pronounce the name of this one hopefully you can see it my skin did not like this I went so red on my face it's like I had an allergic reaction to it so I wouldn't get that again the next thing is from mud masky this is a leave me on winter mask I was so surprised by this product I've said this like quite a few times but I wrote off this brand because the, the products we were getting in the subscription boxes just seemed really gimmicky to me but I kept this one because I thought okay I'm gonna try something at least just to see what I think to the brand and I enjoyed this I did really enjoy this mask I use this as my overnight moisturizer like I said I enjoyed it but I think this is an expensive brand and I did I don't love it that much that I feel like I need to go out and repurchase it but I am surprised <laughs> That I liked this product. A constant repurchase for me is the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is one of my favourite toners. This took me a lot longer than what it would usually for me to use a toner. But yeah, love this. I've repurchased it previously. I will continue to keep re repurchasing this. I repurchased this and the Body Shop Vitamin E toner because those two are my favourite. So yeah, absolutely going to be repurchasing this again. And then we have the Inica Photofuse Renewal Oil Cleanser. I did not like this so what you had to do is you had to squeeze the product and it would come out the top and then you had to rub it on your face I just did not like this I felt it didn't do a very good job at removing my makeup I didn't dislike the smell of this one it just I didn't think it was a very good oil cleanser in my opinion so I wouldn't get this again okay now let's talk about hair care I only have one thing in the hair care category and that is the Umberto Giannini Milk Frizz Control Starling Milk. I finally finished this. This was in my beauty A to Z. I enjoyed this. It didn't make my hair greasy or anything like that. I wouldn't actively go out and find it and repurchase it. But it did its job and it did it okay. And then last but no means least, we have Body. So the first one is the Alia Skin Pomegranate Exfoliating Facial Scrub. Now I put this in this category because I did actually use it as a body scrub. I originally did use this as a face scrub and did not like it. I hated the smell of this. This smelled like it had gone off. So I just used it as a body scrub and I managed to use it up pretty fast that way. I wouldn't buy this again. I hadn't opened this and it already smelled so bad. So I'm trying to use a lot of the products I've got in my collection from this brand. I'm using a mask at the moment and it doesn't smell like this, thankfully. So I'm not quite, quite sure why this smelled like it did but I used it up as a body scrub and it 
wasn't my favourite body scrub, it wasn't scrubby enough for me, but it was meant for the face, so I think that's why, but yeah, I wouldn't get that again. And then another product I wouldn't get again, unfortunately, and I had such high hopes for this, was the Tasty Donut Creamy Shower Foam. I thought I was going to love this because I really wanted this to smell like a donut. It didn't. It did smell sweet, but my problem with this is sometimes it smelled okay, and other times it smelled like sick. And I just, I'm not quite sure why, but it did. And it was not a nice experience when it smelled like sick. I wouldn't get this again. It did take me a while to use this. I think a good two months maybe, was it? When I started to use it. It did take me a while, but I just don't, I just think I figured out I don't love shower foams because I much prefer something that lathers and this doesn't. But yeah, I wouldn't. I won't get this again. I think I would much prefer to just go to the supermarket and buy something that was a pound of this. So yeah, I won't get that again. And that is everything from my empties. I, like I said, I didn't, I have, this isn't my best month, but I'm really happy that I still managed to use some stuff up in October. I'll make sure on the screen to put the total for the month. I don't think it's gonna be a high value month because a lot of the products I did use and high price tags. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.